Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. This video, I'm going to show you how to design this login user interface. Okay, and I'm going to provide all the images and icon I'm using in this login interface and, and I'm going to put that in the description of this video. And before starting, if you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, then please subscribe and hit the bell icon. Okay, let's start with that. So, I've already created one different form design, the same login interface over here so what I have to do is first thing we have to actually resize this okay so we can maximize this one like this and first thing what we have to do is we have to remove this border control so for that right click and go to properties and there you have to search for form border right here you can see this change this one to none after this what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy the size I'm going to copy the size of each of these items from this one so that to get an appropriate theme design like this one right click go to properties and there I'm going to copy the size of this one okay so search for size here you can see this 328,546 right click go to properties paste the size over here and hit enter here you can see this after this what you have to do is we have to change the back color so first thing you have to change the back color if this one is not white then just click on custom and select white so that this turns into a white after this here you can observe we have a circle something circle over here so what i have did is i have added one picture box that is nothing but circular picture box here you can see this when i search for picture box i have a guna 2 circle picture box if this is not in your toolbox then you must be worried about that not to worry about that i have already provided dll file link in the description of this video just go and download that and I have also provided one video link how to add DLL file to toolbox. Watch that. That video is of 4 to 5 minute max. Just watch and follow the step. You will have this Guna 2 circle picture box in this. And if stuck in any type of error, just contact me on Instagram or anywhere you like or email. Okay, so I'm going to use this one. Just drag and drop it over here. I hope you all have downloaded my images and items which I have provided in the description. I'm going to use that. So click on this, select this, local resource, click on import and I'm going to use this image. Click on open and ok. What you have to do is just change this one to stretch image. After this what we have to do is we have to just click on this and we have to copy the size of this one. So the size is 437, 364. Just copy this right click and go to properties and you have to paste the size over here for this picture box and when you enter here you can see that this picture box is like this after this what we have to do is i'm going to copy the appropriate location of this the so location is minus 54 comma minus 199 i'm going to copy this click on this and copy the size so i copy the location and i'm going to hit enter and here you can see that this is on the proper position after this what I have to do is I have to add one more picture box to add image so I'm going to use the Una to circle picture box just drag and drop it over here here you can see this we have added one more image over here and this is also inside the picture box for that I'm already added the picture box just click on this select image local resources click on this and I'm going to use the second image click on this hit ok change the size mode to stretch mode after this what i have to do is just copy the size of this one to 107 comma 109 click on this paste over here hit enter after this i'm going to copy this position or location as well 109 comma 94 just click on this and you have to write 109 comma 94 hit enter here you can you must be worried about that we have transparent background how to do that if you try to do this from here you can't be success here you can see this select transparent yeah nothing happened how to do that for that you have to just click on this small stuff and use transparent background when you click on this the background is transparent now this one is looking better after this what we have to do is we have to add few labels and few text boxes as well so i'm going to add label first drag and drop the label and just copy this so you click on this and go to properties and there you have to change the text first change the text to email id here we find this email id 
and what we have to do is we have to increase the font for this one let me increase the font just click on this and select 14 or 16 14 yeah and what we have to do is we have to change the four color to a little bit of white like this now this one is much more change this okay after this copy this once again and paste this and change the text to password hit enter after this what we have to do is we have to add two text boxes to search for text box i'm going to use this guna two text box i will explain you why because in the default text box you can't make the h circular but in the guna two text box you can do that so you, for, to make the edge circular you have to search for border radius here you can see this change this one to 24 i guess yeah or change this one to 22 so you can see that this one is looking better and we have to maximize this like this okay after this what we have to do is we have to set the fill color for this one so i'm going to do that search for that okay okay there it is border color fill color change this one to gray like this yeah this one is better after this what i have to do is i have to actually increase the font size of the text whatever we write inside this the size needs to be larger so i'm going to change this one to 11 or 12 okay so if this happens with you not to worry i'm going to show you the exact size for this one so i have clicked on this i'm going to copy the size of this text box and as well as location i'm going to copy the location first 55 comma 240 just click on this and enter location and after this i'm going to copy the size 220 comma 44 and hit enter and we have to move this level a little bit upside after this what we have to do is we have to need one more text box just copy and paste it to replicate and place this on the proper position or you can do the one thing just click on this copy the location of this one when you copy one text box what happen is it copy with the all changes you have made okay so we have to place this level on the proper position like this i hope you can do this okay now here our half task is done after this what we have to do is we have to make two more changes for these text box so what i want is whatever i write inside this password needs to be in star format so for that just click on this and change the password care change the password care search for password care sometime it's hectic to find stuff here you find this enter star and hit enter now whatever you write inside this one will be in the star format after this what i have to do is i have to add one button so i'm going to use do not two button just drag and drop it just click on this and we have to change the text first to so change this one to log base n and i have to change the font as well so for that search for font just click on this bold and size will be 16 and hit ok after this let me copy the color code and size as well just click on this and copy is color first i'm going to copy the color just click on this and fill color will be dodger blue and hit enter after this let me copy the size and location as well so location is minus 1 comma 410 on this location hit enter and i'm going to copy the size 330 comma 45 just click on this size 330 comma 45 and here you can observe now this one is looking better after this what we have to do is we have to add few more stuff here you can see this easy stuff so we have to add few more picture boxes search for picture box just drag and drop it i'm going to use the default picture box just click on this Choose image, local resource, click on import and I'm going to use this one. You can place this in any order you feel like. Just click on OK, change this one to stretch image. And I'm going to copy the size of this one. Just click on this. And copy the size 42 comma 40. Just move back over here. Just click on this. Sizes. And I need three of them. 
So I'm going to copy paste three times and paste one more time. Here we go. And what we have to do is we have to change the image for this. Just click on this, choose image, click on import and select the second one. And the same if we have to do for the last one, click on this, choose images, import and select this one. Okay. Like this. And here we go. And the next thing what we left with is one level with welcome home. Just click on this. Okay, I'm going to use this level. Just copy and paste it once again. Move back this one over here and what we have to do is we have to just select few stuff that is first we have to change the text welcome home hit enter after this what i have to do is actually change the text color that is the four color search for that four color change this one to black or you can just Change the color code as well, like this one, Dodger blue or anything, and the black color. Just click on this. Let me try that. I haven't tried that. Okay. Search for blue. Matching type something. Yeah. Sorry, blue. Light stream. Yeah, something. Yeah, this one is looking better. After this, now we're logging each video. Now let me check that if this one is working fine or not. Okay, so let me first change this one to dog dash. Okay, this is none of your business, not to worry about that. You have created a new project, then you don't have to do anything. Just programming, program not to So I'm going to start this. And it's taking a little bit of time. Here we have the login page, and we have to make two changes. Here you can see this. This text is also in the same light color we have to change this one to black and what I have to do is I have to actually make two changes that the text appears in the center of this text box and this login page also appears in the center of the text box we do that just click on this and first I'm going to set the login page appear in the center of the screen so for that you have to just change this stuff to start position change this one to center screen and select these two and after this you have to just change the text line from left to center and what we have to do is we have to change the four color for this two text boxes search for four color here you can see this red color it's a fill color no we don't need green color we need four color change this one to black and now start this and you will observe this one will appear in the center of the screen here you can see this and Whatever we write inside this one, like pretext days, it's in the center of the screen, and password will be pass. Uh, everything is working and button is working. Okay, so that's it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoy designing this. And for more design updates, just subscribe and share with your friends. If you really like and just like this video and share as much as you can. Thanks for watching.